guys, it's Lara. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how I made this cute apron. I love cooking and I also love wearing aprons because especially when I'm dressed in white, just like today, the probability that I will soil myself while cooking or eating is very high. I'm a pig, so having an apron is a must for me and I thought I'm just gonna create the apron with this cute star pattern because it's right before Christmas, but it's not just relevant for Christmas because you can use any pattern you like. So it would be also something you can create during any time of the year. So if you wanna know how I created my apron, then please keep watching. Here is my sketch of the pattern that I have created for my apron. The skirt consists of a half circle. And if you would divide the half circle in four pieces, I would say that I added a quarter of the half circle at each end. And this curve was 28 inches. The length of my finished skirt was 20 inches. So you have to account for seam allowance on the top and also on the bottom and on this edges. Furthermore, I have here the flap for the skirt. So I made it about 14 inches wide at the bottom and nine inches was the width on the top. I also added seam allowance on the top and on the bottom. I did not add seam allowance here because this is where I used the bias tape. Then I have here a sketch of the pocket. The pocket is six inches wide when it's finished, but I needed to fold the fabric here on the side. So here on these sides, you will need on those three sides, you will need seam allowance. You know, you don't need seam allowance here because this is where I will use bias tape. You will need it only on those three sides. And the finished height was seven and a half inches. If you're trying to figure out what diameter this inner circle would have, you can use the simple formula. You divide your waist by pi and that will give you the diameter, which is twice the radius. Now, since this is not a perfect circle here, because it's not a complete circle skirt, I would suggest to make the radius, aka the diameter, a little bit bigger so that you achieve the right size of your curve. In order to make my bias tape, I always took a strip of fabric to which center on one side I attached a few inches long thread. I pulled the thread through the bias tape form. This helped me to pull the fabric through. Now at the narrow end of the form, my formed bias tape came out. I started moving the form to a side while I have been ironing the already formed tape so that it would keep the shape. You will find all measurements in the description box. Here we have the bias tapes together with the apron flap and the pockets. And these are the skirt parts. Again, all measurements are written below. The big piece is folded in the middle and on the right side I have two single pieces. They are just placed on each other. First, I pinned the skirt parts together. I have sewn the skirt pieces together with a regular straight stitch. I secured the edges with a zigzag stitch and I have also sewn the seam to one side with a straight stitch once I was finished. Next I pinned the bias tape to the top of each pocket and I have sewn it on with a regular straight stitch. And then I pinned the pockets to the skirt. I made sure they were exact mirror images. Here is what the pockets looked like once they were pinned in place. I have sewn them on with two rows of a regular straight stitch. As a next step, I pinned the bias tape to the top of the flap. And also to the sides. I 
I folded the ends of each bias tape inwards, by the way, so that I would have a clear ending. Here is what the flap looked like so far. I've sewn all through with a regular straight stitch. Once that was done, I started pinning the flap to the skirt. This time I made sure I put the bad sides together, you will see why. And I have sewn the pieces together with zigzag. Now I started pinning the bias tape to the top edge of the skirt, where also the flap was. Once the tape was pinned on, I pinned also the tape to the flap, so that all would lay flat. Now even the bad side looked nice and clean. I have sewn the bias tape through with a regular straight stitch. Now here is what I have done with the skirt edges. I simply folded all edges twice inwards and I have sewn them through with a regular straight stitch. So this is how I created my apron. I absolutely love this piece. I love gray, which is kind of obvious since behind me pretty much everything is gray and white. Anyway, definitely a great piece, would for sure make a great Christmas present. And I very much hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give the video, video, the video, damn, I can't talk today. Don't forget to give the video a thumb up and you can also share it with anyone who you think might be interested. I would be super happy if you would subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. I have listed down below the entire playlist Christmas. There is also my playlist sewing for beginners if you're just starting out. I have a few tips that might be useful for you. Um, there are all of my Instagram accounts also in the description box. Then I have listed there a link to my vlogging channel and you will find there also two discount codes that I have currently for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. It means the world that you're watching my videos to me. I love you guys so much and I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.